Hey guys, welcome to the Loveland Yoga YouTube channel. My name is Bobby and this is Anna V. And today we are making a beginner's yoga tutorial for you guys on downward facing dog. Um, this is one of the most fundamental yoga poses that you'll see in a yoga class. Uh, I teach it multiple times in basically every yoga class that I lead. I'll start by showing you just the basics of the pose, what it looks like as you get better at it, and then I'll take a step back show what it maybe looks like if you're tighter in your hips and shoulders and what you can do to uh, progress in the posture and open it up further. So any of you come into downward facing dog. So just simply put, this is what it looks like. Her hands are at shoulder width apart and you'll want your index fingers facing straight forward at 12 o'clock and press the palms flat into the ground. Now, press out through the arms so that the shoulders are extending up and away from the hands, and you get this nice, long, open line through your side body. Okay, now walking around to her other side, we want to send the hips up high and towards the back of the mat, and then we want to send the heels down to the ground. And these two movements together, that are what create the opening for all along the back side of her legs, so her hamstrings, back of her knees, calves, ankles. As far as the heels go, one question I get a lot is, should the heels touch the ground? And the answer to that question is not necessarily. It's really just about sending the heels actively in that downward direction, um, because that's what creates the deeper opening for the legs. Now, if you are brand new to yoga, which I'm assuming you are, um, when you're tighter in the hips and shoulders, what I see with new students is their down dog will often look like this. All right, so the shoulders come forward, um, the hips drop a little bit low towards the ground. Um, and this is because of the tightness in hips and shoulders. And when the pose looks like this, it can feel like a big struggle. Um, a lot of muscle engagement and a lot of strain goes into holding it here. To open up your pose, I want you to start with your shoulders. So just bend your knees until you can open the shoulders all the way and get that nice long line and that nice extension through the side body. Okay. Now, once you have this full opening in the shoulders, then go back to the knees and start to work them straight again. Okay, remember to breathe in the posture, and just that one, two move together will help to open it up. So again, bend the knees, open the shoulders, re-straighten the knees, and send the heels towards the ground. All right, and come on down. All right, well, I hope that was simple enough. Maybe cleared up some questions that you might have had floating in your brain as a beginner. Um, if you have any feedback on the video, please leave a comment below. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please give us a like and subscribe because we have a lot more on the way. So, thank you so much, guys.